Hi everyone! Welcome to Skin It Really YouTube channel! So in this first video, we'll be discussing about the etiology of this inflammatory skin condition called eczema. Atopic dermatitis, or as known as eczema, usually appears early in life or have early onset, and often associated with other allergic diseases such as asthma and allergic redness, or in other words, hay fever. The cause of atopic dermatitis is not completely understood yet, as atopic dermatitis is a complex multifactorial disorder and it is likely to arise from many different factors, which could include genetic predispositions, impaired skin barrier, immune dysregulations, and environmental factors. There has been a correlation of atopic dermatitis with genetics. One example would be the concordance rate of atopic dermatitis in monozygotic twins or identical twins, which is fertilization by one single ovum and one single sperm that's splitting into two. This is around 75%, whereas the risk in the psychotic twins or non-identical twins, which is fertilization of two ovum by two sperms, is only around 30%. This indicates high association of genetic background. There are many genes that have been linked with atopic dermatitis, specifically genes encoding epidermal structural proteins and genes encoding key elements of the immune system. Abnormal skin barrier has been strongly associated with genetics, with the mutations of the filigran, which is a gene responsible to produce the structural proteins required for skin barrier formation. People with atopic dermatitis have been shown to have insufficient lipid molecules within the skin called ceramides, and antimicrobial peptides called catalysidins. These two have a role in the body immune system as the first-line defense against harmful pathogens. This low number of ceramides and catalysidins would cause number one, increased penetrations of infectious agent in the skin. Staphylococcus aureus is one of the examples that most often seen in people with atopic dermatitis, approximately 90%. Number two, increased chill which is the reductions of the skin ability to hold the water and to prevent vaporizations of the water to the surrounding atmosphere. This is why people with atopic dermatitis typically appear with dry skin with fissures. Beside the genetic part, there are many different environmental factors that are considered potentially related with the development of eczema. For example, some research evidence shows that Western lifestyle has reported an increase in atopic dermatitis occurrence over the past years. Some studies also show that exposure to prototopical infections such as hepatitis A and tuberculosis or other microflora during early childhood have lower risk or are less susceptible in developing the disease. However, as the etiology is not completely understood yet, each individual case would be different. Remember to always seek medical advice if you suspect you have atopic dermatitis. If you are interested in knowing the course of atopic dermatitis or eczema, we will discuss that further in the next coming video. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video helpful, please give a thumbs up and feel free to leave any feedback in the comment section down below. See you in the next video.